going to show you today how to properly install the OV5 Scorpion mechanical and electronic sensor solution to your phone and to the PSA processing unit. As you can see, they come in a bag. The cable is separate from the sensor, as is the charging cable. First, taking your Scorpion, you want to make sure that the key fits to the right side where the charging port is. It will fit in the security pin area where you turn counterclockwise to open, clockwise to tighten. Make sure that the phone or the, the Scorpion is actually opened to a reasonable distance to where you can adjust it and insert the phone. You can do it either through the top or sliding it in this way. So we're, we're, we're fairly close there. Now, to properly install the Scorpion, you're going to want to peel off the adhesive cover, exposing the adhesive on the 3M dual lock. Discard this when you're done. Now, place the sensor somewhere in the center of the phone. We recommend putting the charging port to the right side of the phone. So slide it in somewhere centered and then press and it's stuck. As you can see, the sticky pad sensor is adhered to the Scorpion pad itself. And this is where it's critical. You need to take your security key again. You'll see that the, the pin is exposed on the right side of the Scorpion. Turning in clockwise, turning the key clockwise, bump the keys, the legs up against the unit and snug, not tighten yet, snug. And you'll see where you still have a gap between the legs and the phone. Some of the thicker phones, there'll be less gap. This is critical. Two holes on the back side of the sensor. Insert your key. It will insert into a screw, a leveling screw. By turning clockwise, you will begin to raise up the leveling plate, which will push the leveling plate up against the top arms. This is key to avoid any false alarms or theft. Again, as you can see, the leveling plate is starting to raise the phone up against the top of the arms. You'll rotate periodically to get the leveling plate to rise evenly. Thinner phones, it takes a little bit longer, but you'll see we're closing the gap on the top of the legs, which means that the Scorpion is being installed properly. Once you start to get some resistance on the leveling plate on both legs, then you know that the leveling plate height is good. As you'll see, the gap is gone. This is where you go back to the side, take the legs, and tighten, finger tighten with the key. That scorpion is now on there. You are not going to remove that. Let's review again. Make sure that leveling plate pushes the phone up against the top of the legs and the scorpion is properly installed, both on the side and the top. Now, the power cable for the OV5 sensor is here. You're going to take the longer coiled end and plug that into the sensor. As you can see, insert. It is now ready to be used and it will send power to the sensor for charging and alarming. One of the key features here, if you don't want anyone to be able to just unplug this like that, security screw on the side. Taking the same security key, you're going to want to tighten the security screw on the side up against that sensor head. So you can see, turning it clockwise, you're going to tighten that into that. Now, it's not just easily removable. That way it avoids false alarms and additional theft. If it is disconnected while in operation, the alarm will sound, but this locks it into place so someone can't inadvertently unplug the unit. Another critical element. Now you've got your charging cable. This cable is plugged in. Take your charging cable with the, mic with the USB Plug it into the side of the Scorpion, uh, the side where it's required, sorry. This is now going to provide power to the charging cable. Turning it around, you'll now plug this into the bottom, the phone, to be charging. And there's a critical point here as well, folks, that I think uh, a lot of people miss. This has to be plugged into the sensor, this has to be plugged into the phone in order to eliminate false alarms. Your sensor is now properly installed, your charging cable is installed, the phone is ready to be plugged into for charging and alarming into your already programmed PS8 unit. Once installed, your phone is properly charging and alarming. Anyone cuts, removes the phone, the alarm will sound.